Hi, I'm Keith the Rockstar Richardson. I'm fighting out of Modern Warrior MMA in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I also cross train with uh, Team Alpha Male out of uh, Sacramento, California. Um, on April 22nd, I'll be fighting uh, Matt Bissett on uh, Bellator 153. It's been about seven months since my last fight. Um, you know, I hadn't really intended on taking that long of a layoff, especially because I was fighting so uh, active. I think I had like five fights in seven seven months uh, before that. But uh, I was just having you know difficulties uh, getting matched up. I had uh, you know guys pulling out of fights and stuff. Uh, it was uh, it's one of those issues where you you know you're on a roll, and it seems like nobody wants to play with you anymore. Uh, you know, and we were looking for that uh, you know that that go big opportunity. You know, to put us in a Bellator UFC uh, fight, and you know, finally this fight came along. And, you know, I'm looking, uh, looking, looking forward to taking on Matt. Uh, you know, he seems like a tough fighter, and he's going to be a big challenge. Um, so I'm looking forward to you know getting the opportunity to you know to showcase what I can do against a uh, quality opponent. Um, Matt presents uh, some interesting issues as far as uh, you know the fight fight approach goes because he is a uh, he is a very well-rounded fighter. Um, you know, it hasn't really caused me to, um, you know, change too much as a, as far as making adjustments and stuff like that, you know, because, you know, I pride myself on being a well-rounded fighter myself, you know, um, you know, I have the wrestling background, the grappling background, you know, I work with, I get, uh, you know, work with, uh, high-level strikers and, you know, high-level striking coaches, you know, I think, uh, as well-rounded as Matt is, you know, I think I'll be the, the more well-rounded fighter, you know, in this fight. The big advantages I have uh, going into this fight, you know, is one, um, you know, just, just working on that, that grinding mentality, you know, uh, getting, uh, getting the camp out and uh, team alpha male, um, you know, with some of, the, some of the top guys in the world in my weight class, you know, um, you know being competitive in that room, you know, you're, you're competitive in the world. Um, you know, and I think the other, uh, you know, kind of intangible skill is, uh, you know, just that, that combat mindset. There's no chance of anybody being able to mentally break me down in a cage. Um, you know, I'm used, to, I'm used to being surrounded by guys trying to kill me. Uh, you know, one guy, uh, one guy in a cage trying to give me an ass whooping is you know, not, not that big of a deal to me. I'm usually winning by, winning by a finish in this. You know, uh, that's the way that I fight, you know, so that's the way that I, I envision the fight. You know, I've only want, gone to a couple of decisions in my, you know, my entire career. You know, I don't. You know, if uh, if you don't finish the fight, to me, you know, did you really win the fight? You know, nobody knows. You know, because if it kept on going on, you know, anything could happen. You know, I, I want to make either the ref stop it or him. You know, ask me to stop it. You know, uh, you know, to me, that's that's a that's a full victory. You know. Now there's plenty of there's plenty of plenty of great fights now that do go to decision and stuff like that. But to me, you know, that kind of leaves things somewhat undecided. So you know, anytime I you know, anytime I picture it in my head, you know, I picture the stoppage. You can expect to see a warrior, you know, in the cage doing what he was born and bred to do. You know, uh, you're going to see somebody that you know will put it all on the line. You know, fight for the finish. You know, fight fight to win, not fight not to lose. Um, you know, I, I'm never a big fan of, you know, when you can tell when, when a guy's just, you know, he's just trying not to, you know, doing it, do enough to barely eke out the win. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to come in there looking to, you know, looking to fight, you know, looking to put on the best show possible, you know, and looking to, you know, grab the submission, grab the knockout, you know, snatch victory instead of, uh, you know, letting, letting judges give it to me. A couple of people that I want to thank first and all, uh, first of all, my family over here at Modern Warrior MMA. You know, they're, they're more than just training partners, they're more than just, you know, students, um, you know, fellow fighters and stuff like that. You know, we're one team, one family. Um, you know, I definitely got to thank um, Palmetto Warrior Connection, uh, you know, doing great things in the uh, Carolinas for veterans, um, you know, job placement, you know, stuff like that. Um, Definitely got to thank uh, Firehouse Vapors, um, you know, uh, for, you know, really, really helped me, uh, you know, get my training camp together and stuff like that. Um, 007 Bell Bonds, uh, Diamond Thieves Tattoos, um, Bread and Butter Management, uh, you know, Michael Allen, you know, thank you for all the, all the you know, you do for me. Um, Positive Friday, uh, Richardson Animal Rescue, um, you know, you know, that's a... Uh, that's my family, and you know that's the 
you know, that's some of the good work that they do. Um, definitely got to thank, uh, you know, everybody, uh, every, uh, all my Marine, all my Marine brothers and stuff like that. Um, you know, Marines at 3-8, you know, uh, brothers forever. Um, and just, uh, you know, all, all all my all my, fan, all, all my people that you know uh, really you know help support um, you know push me along. Definitely got to uh, thank the guys over at Alpha Male. Can't forget them. Uh, you know they really uh, wore my butt out this training camp and really uh, you know got me into prime shape and you know ready to ready to do battle. Um, you know thank you for that. You know you guys are uh, you know there's a reason why uh, you know it's probably the best gym in the world. Um, so thanks everybody. Thank <laughs> you.